Next, we have contestant 160 performing Brussels Sprouts. Time for dinner. Yes! I am sitting at my kitchen table with my father. Oh, yeah. And my sister, Jen. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I, I don't like my sister, Jen. My mother is beginning to serve us dinner. All right. Here are your mashed potatoes. Mmm, delicious. Here. Quick is your gravy. Oh, succulent! And last but not least, I have your Brussels sprouts. Bad. Five bad Brussels. Brussels, 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 Brussels sprouts. I don't like Brussels sprouts. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. We all deal with highly stressful situations in our own ways. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you guys came. <laughs> That's good, I was just starting to get nervous. The fact that people deal with stress in their own ways is best exemplified in this short story where a young boy named Andy is able to overcome his greatest challenge yet by adopting the persona of super tough cool action voice man. Yay! Oh, do you guys have any advice for me? Burn them, burn them all! <laughs> Sometimes our friends have to go away into our pockets. But they can come back later for gestures. Yay, gestures! <laughs> Brussels sprouts. Did you know Brussels is actually spelled with an S on the end? I bet you didn't know that. Brussels sprouts by Andy Griffiths. Who wouldn't hate them? They are horrible, putrid, disgusting, and green. Aside from that, I actually love them. No, I don't. That was a joke. There is nothing to love about Brussels sprouts. But Bob, I hate Brussels sprouts. Oh, that's fine, suit yourself. But if you don't eat your Brussels sprouts, you won't have any dessert. <laughs> I see. <laughs> the situation has escalated. <laughs> fine, if it's war she wants, it's war she shall get. This calls for drastic action. But Bob, that's not fair. Ooh, nailed it. <laughs> of course it's fair, Andy. It's perfectly fair. Dad? 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 Daddy? Father? Tata? Pops? Steve? Andy, you heard your mother. No Brussels, no dessert. That's the deal, kiddo. That's the deal! <laughs> kiddo! Why would I agree to a stupid deal like that? Andy, you don't know what you're missing out on. Brussels sprouts are delicious!
my sister is playing mind games. <laughs> oh, devious, devious mind games. But they give me an idea, so I make my move. Oh, look, everyone outside, do you see it? It's so exciting. While they're all distracted, I quickly transfer one of my sprouts onto Jen's plate. No, keep looking, it's definitely there, just kidding. I, I guess it's not. Are you gonna be an idiot your whole life? Probably. <laughs> the pay's a little low, but the hours are good. <laughs> and that's when she falls for it and eats the newly transferred sprout. Do I feel any pity for her? No, I do not. She deserves it. <laughs> One down, four to go. Brussel, 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 brussel. Andy, would you mind passing me the pepper? I hate pepper. It makes me sneeze. But it also gives me an idea. Why didn't I think of it earlier? Pepper, sneezing, it's the oldest trick in the book. Oh yeah, sure, Dad. Just let me put some pepper on my sprout first. <laughs> Oh, no! <laughs> it looks like I accidentally breathed some pepper, not on purpose. Andy, that is sick. Two down, three to go. Brussel, brussel, brussel. Oh, look, the dog. Three down, two to go. Brussel, brussel. There were still two sprouts left, and I was running out of time and ideas. I needed to think, 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 think. Th I've got it. Got what, Andy? I've got my X-Men. Oh, that's such a cool story, bro. <laughs> and by X-Men, I was referring to my X-Men underwear. It was a vile act. But there are casualties to every war which must be taken. Four down, one to go. Brussa. There was only one left. One final sprout of Brussels. This one was their leader. Sprout. Parcel to... Parcel sprout. I will end you! Andy, if you don't eat your last Brussels sprout, you won't have dessert for the rest of your life. Fine. But this is just cruel. One Brussels sprout. One horrible, nasty, moist, fleshy, undulating sprout of Brussels. And to make matters worse, my mother was watching me like a hawk. to think happy thoughts, like uh, uh, puppies, and kittens, and ponies, and rainbows, and, and then the, the taste hit me. And the ponies began to die! 
Puppies smashed by giant machines. Rainbows torn apart, slime gushing everywhere. <laughs> and the kittens were being punched in their little kitten faces. But then I realized I had done it. I had eaten the last sprout of Brussels. I had won. All right, Andy, here's your dessert. I made you banana butter tapioca. Oh. I love banana butter tapioca. 